All right, how's everybody doing out there? Math Magic Land, this is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And again, we're going to be taking a look at how to change an absolute value function into a piecewise function. And this is example number three. Now, when we take a look at example number three, we will notice a couple things. And by now, I think you guys are really, really, really starting to get the hang of this. So if you think you got it, go ahead and just pause it, do the whole thing on your own, and then come back and see what your final answer is. So, but when you are picking your left side point and your right side point, it doesn't matter which points you pick because you should still come up with the same equation in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b form. So it doesn't matter what point you pick, you pick whatever point you want and you should still come out with the same equations. All right, so for the rest of you, let's go ahead and see what we're doing. So here we are, we're taking a look at the absolute value equation, y equals three times the absolute value of x minus two. So I know my a value is positive, so that's gonna tell me that's gonna open up and my a value is three. My h and k values, so my h value, remember, don't forget, flip the sign, so the opposite of negative two is positive two, but there is no k, there's nothing on over here, there's nothing going on, which means our k value is zero. So my vertex is two, zero. So I go over to two, zero and put a dot, boom. Now my a value is three and that opens up. So on this one, we're gonna, we're gonna have slopes of positive three and negative three. So I know that it's going to open up like this. So on the right hand side, I'm gonna go over one, up one, two, three. Over another one, up one, two, three. So you have to be really careful with that because a lot of times, you know, people are gonna think that the slopes are going to be, you're gonna go over three and then up, up one. And you're actually gonna go over one, up three, because remember it's rise over run. And on the left hand side, we'll go ahead and plot that as well. So go back to the vertex, you're gonna go over the one and up one, two, three there. And notice the symmetry there as well. So we're gonna go over one from that point and go up one, two, three, and then put another dot. And then here we are, we've got our nice little absolute value graph right here. So notice the steepness on each side. On the uh, right hand side, I know that I've got a slope here of three, but on the other side, on the, on the left, my slope is gonna be negative three. All right, so those are my two slopes of each side. Now I know that my h value is two, so that's gonna mean I'm gonna put two right here for, for that part. Now let's go ahead and get after the left hand side. Again, it doesn't matter, because I can tell that my, ooh, I can look right here and check that out, right on the left hand side, I know that the slope is going to be negative three, so I'm, I already know that part, so negative three x is gonna be that piece. But if I look at the graph, I can tell what my y intercept is. It's just six. So I can look right on the graph. Boom, that was pretty straightforward, looking at the graph. Now here's where we get a little bit trickier, is maybe coming up with the right-hand side. Now on the right-hand side, remember, your slopes are going to be opposite. So if that was negative three x for the left, that means on the right-hand side, I'm gonna have positive three x. But here's where I've gotta do a little bit of work to find the y-intercept graphically. So from here, from the vertex, I'm gonna continue this line going down <clears throat> this way. I'm gonna continue the line going down this way, and I wanna figure out where does it cross the y-axis at. So that's the challenge that I've got to do right here. And as long as I can count, I got this, right? So I'm gonna go, my slope was three, so I'm gonna go down one, two, three, but to the left one, down one, two, three, and to the left one, and ho, oh, that's very nice, because that lands on a lattice point right there at negative six. So my y-intercept is negative six for the right-hand side. That's pretty cool. Now let's, of course, go ahead and check ourselves algebraically, because I want you to be able to do both. So you can pick any point you want on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna pick this guy uh, right here. I'm gonna pick the one that's in the middle, and that is going to be the point one, three. So one, three is going to be the point that I'm gonna pick. So first, we're gonna write the uh, y equals mx plus b. And on the left, I know my slope. So remember, my slope from the left-hand side right here, my slope was negative three. So that's what's going to go in for my m. So m is going to be negative three. And then my x and y, my y value is three from my point, and my x value from my point is one plus b. And then that's going to result in this line where I have three equals negative three plus b. And then adding the three to both sides, we get six, four, b. 
which means the equation for that left-hand side is going to be the line y equals negative 3x plus 6. And then, again, does this match? Does y equals negative 3x plus 6 match this left-hand side over there? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Coolio. Boom. Diggity done. We're happy about that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the right-hand side. Now on the right-hand side, again, it doesn't matter which point you pick. You can pick any point on the graph that's on the right-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I'm gonna pick, say, this point up here, which is four, six, four, six. All right, so four, six is gonna be the point that we'll pick on the right-hand side. And I know that the slope on my right-hand side was three, so when I substitute this in my equation, so y equals, mx plus b, so 3 is going to go in for the m. My y number is going to be 6, and my x number is going to be 4, and I just get that from my coordinate that I picked, which was 4, 6. Again, we're trying to find the b value, so we'll do our arithmetic. We get 6 equals 12 plus b, and when I subtract, I'll get negative 6 for the value of b, which would give me this piece to be the equation y equals 3x minus 6. And again, I want to see, does this piece right here, y equals 3x minus 6, does that match the other side, the right-hand side, which is the denominator, or not the denominator, but the bottom of my piecewise function? Yes, yes, it does. So that's awesome. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. Cool. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I got one more for you. Just to practice, make sure you totally, totally, totally got it down. So I'll see you around for that one. Catch you later. Peace out.